Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and I hope everything is fine with you with our COVID-19 pandemic. So I received an email from uh, one of our friend Mr. Faisal Matin. I mentioned this one in my previous YouTube video that he sent me an email about the cricket lighting design. So today we will discuss how to do a cricket lighting design calculation using Dialux software okay okay so faisal said hi nelka i work here in dubai and i also work in philips blah 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 and i also watch your youtube videos thank you very much faisal and then i'm willing to know about cricket field cricket field lighting design and would be grateful if you can help me so it's the field is around 65 meter radius okay and secondly i want to know how i take your courses for dialogues in AGI okay I don't have AGI for now but I have lots of courses of Dialux and Dialux Evo in udemy.com so go and check that one Faisal said it's 65 meter radius right now I have what is this I have 27 27 let's have DI this is my example this is my project in Oman so it's 74 for 75 meters diameter so if you're studying cricket field, there is what we call um, pitch runway, infield and outfield. Actually, I have here in this one. So this is what I did in uh, Oman Cricket Project. So there, there is uh, there is some requirements. This is from the client. You can you can encounter a lot of different requirements from the client, especially if your cricket is for professional or international competition like maybe a world cup for cricket so for this one let's go for the basic okay so there is what we call pitch and the client says they want a 500 lux on the pitch and the outfield is 300 lux and the infield is 400 lux so if you want to know what are those pitch outfield and infield so this is the pitch the one with the blue you can see this is the pitch okay those are those um text or numbers with the blue are the pitch area and then there is what we call the infield and outfield so the infield is the one with the orange color of numbers and the outfield are the one with with a black color so what I did is I think for the infield I created um, uh, points grid points of two by two and then for the infield is uh, 4 by 4 and for the outfield is 5 by 5 grid points so we can do the same for now here in dialux tutorial okay but um yeah we will do that but before that i would like to first uh, discuss to you what is a cricket field or what is a cricket sports so you can see here now this is the field of a cricket you can see those are uh, closed and held the pitch area the one with the yellow okay it's loading and the infield the uh, uh, yellow green and the outfield which is the the totally green so this is how the cricket field looks like there's one more here and in the actual photo it will becomes like this so those players are in the pitch area and this is how it looks okay I think I have a bigger picture here yeah or here yeah you can see this is the Somerset Cricket Club it's one of I think the best cricket lighting design I've seen here in the internet okay the one I did in Oman is also good but it's not that's a, a huge uh, installation or a good um, installation because it's just it's not a stadium it's just a regular cricket field okay so this is how it looks that is the cricket field all right so um before that let's discuss uh, before we start our uh designing let's go and check this one what uh, whenever i do sports lighting design i go and check in the lighting guide from simse okay this one for sports lighting this is for the lg4 and you can find the cricket requirements here i think it's here and the page number where is the cricket letter C okay here now page 19 so we're going to have a cricket outdoor because there is cricket indoor and cricket outdoor for now let's go for the cricket outdoor as what mr. Faisal is required 
So here you go. It's on the page 19, the Cricut Outdoor. And based on CBC or LG4, the requirements for class 1 is 750 and class 2 is 500 and class 3 is 300. Uh, the one with Oman Project, uh, they require only 500, 400, and 300. And CRI 60, glares 50 and 55 for the class 3. And uniformity is 0.5. Uh, so there, there is also horizontal and vertical for cricket, especially if there is CCTV or a, a TV, televised um, a, a video or a televised option for that field, okay, for that uh, area. Okay, so let's go now and uh, discuss and start with our cricket lighting design. Alright, so let's start now with our amazing cricket lighting design calculation this is another example of a very good installation for cricket lighting designs so those speech amazing okay so i will open now my dialog software the one with the red thumbnail and then i will check my file it should be 2010 version autocad so it will be easily imported in uh, dialogs regular so file save as and I will save it into 2010 version and then save and say yes. And then I will go now to this uh, new exterior project and then I will file import DWG. I will import now the file for a cricket. So I save it in my desktop and I put it here and there you go. And next and next and next and next so this is now my cricket field and if I want to measure it I want to check it <laughs> okay my cow is really crazy so uh, it says here it's 22 meters let's double check it so 22 meters I will check it also here again using the tape measure okay 22 meters perfect so now we will do our cricket lighting design the one I did in Oman is created using dial, uh, AGI 32. This time we will use the Dialux regular. Okay, so just increase your uh, ground element. Just increase it. Just imagine this is your ground area. And then you will now add your calculation surfaces here. So let's just view our drawing. Yeah, we will do our calculation, add our calculation surfaces. One, uh, the first one is for the infield. So go here in the colors and, uh, sorry, uh, objects, and then go to the calculation surfaces. Go and check in the sports facilities if there is um, cricket here. It seems it doesn't have cricket here. Yeah, there is no default cricket field here in, uh, in the selection. So we will create our own uh, calculation surfaces or calculation grid. So click this calculation grid and then, hold on, is there anything in here? Basketball, badminton, handball, lane, blah, 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 soccer, tennis, nothing. Okay, even here, nothing. Alright, so let's go and select this calculation grid instead and just drag and drop. And like what I did in um, Oman Project, I will do the same here using a 2x2 two two grid for the pitch area. Okay, like this so go here and label it as pitch perfect and then go to the geometry check 23 I think this is supposed to be 24 make it precise and this one is 18 oh no it's not okay let's just just follow the drawing then okay 24.1 and then calculation grid go and make it a distance select the distance and say it's two by two perfect now you have a, a grid of two by two in the pitch area you must be very strict on the pitch area because this is where the focus of light is always uh, focused <laughs> okay so let's go for the horizontal or perpendicular if you like and then uh, just click that one gradient Press this display values so it will you will see immediately the, re the result of the calculation 
and then real time go to the horizontal so the real time values that you will see immediately here will be on the horizontal we will not discuss the vertical here and if you want to learn the vertical calculation for the cricket field or cricket lighting design for the stadium go and check my udemy course i will post my um course there okay so after this we will now add our next uh, calculation grid which is for the infield so the infield is this oblong here so uh, grab another uh, calculation grid here and then drag it yes drag 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 follow those lines there you go follow it there and also on the other side and there is, if there is a uh, excess points you can remove it by right clicking it convert for editing and then uh, edit grid points yeah and then I can now uh, remove those excess points here there you go yep 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 also on the other side remove it perfect perfect and this one side also all right and you may also want to remove the one inside the pitch area because it will dramatically uh, improve your overall uniformity for the infield because the pitch has higher requirements so if you have higher requirements here uh, it will affect your overall uniformity so better go and erase also the one on the pitch area all right so don't forget go and label it pitch here so let's this uh let's label it as infield uh infield perfect so let's go and check the geometry which is i made a mistake i should have changed the uh, spacing first okay sorry let's remove it now okay attach the grid points again and um adjust it yep and then label it as in field perfect you should do this one first and then go to the geometry check if it's precise or not precise if you want to make it precise you can edit it here and if you just want to follow the drawing just go and drag it into that lines okay calculation grid this is the the, the one i meant I, I need to edit first before removing those excess points so go to the distance and change it into uh, four so four by four spacing there you go you can make it actually five by five but if you want to make your design more precise and strict then uh, better make it uh, four by four so you can also see the difference in the uh, uh, calculation points the one is denser and the other one is lighter or not so tight because yeah you can see the difference in the grid point spacing okay so right click now oops sorry let me have my horizontal or perpendicular calculation it's in the zero and the display values and of course the real time is horizontal so let's go now and edit it so convert for editing right click again and edit grid points and delete those um excess points in outside those um in bound. all right now it's clean i now have my in bout or in field so it's time for me to add the <clears throat> outfield so go back to the object and add the other calculation of uh, grid for the outfield okay So there you go now i have the one for the outfield like what i made a mistake a while ago i will now label it so i will not create another mistake so go to the calculation grid and then label it name as outfield and then geometry keep it or make it precise by editing it here or just follow the lines on the autocad and then calculation grid make it a five by five grid there you go so you can see the difference right 
okay it's not much strict compared to the other the other one if you will ask me what should be actually the standard for a grid calculation the standard usually is five by five for all the sports outdoor sports sliding because i want to make my design more precise that's why i make the grid more dense the denser the calculation grid um the better because it's really hard for you to get a bit uh, overall uniformity if your grid is so dense compared it's the, the spacing is so wide okay so i'll make a horizontal again here and then i will uh gradient perfect display values and then also this is the same this is also the same way i do for my golf course lighting design because uh, you need to remove those excess points because it's not really necessary for you to add those points because the focus of luminaire or light should be on the exact uh, locations okay so now it's almost done and of course I will remove the one inside the infield and the pitch so what I'm going to do I will just go and grab it here there you go and also here yep i think i will keep that one and this one and this one okay i think i remove i need to remove it okay so there you go so i now have my pitch my infield which i forgot to remove the one inside so right click and edit grid points and then remove it there you go I, think I need to remove the one touching the line and now I have outfield so again pitch infield and outfield now my uh, field is ready for installing the floodlights okay um, the video is very long now I will uh, create a new video for that one see you there on the next video